Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It's your boy Fat Crypto, and today we're going to be doing a technical analysis on BPRO. If you're new to my channel, I do coin overviews, technical analysis, trading series, uh, finding hidden gems. I'm basically trying to be your one-stop shop for crypto information. If you enjoy the video, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. If you don't, feel free to dislike it. Let me know, give me some feedback why you dislike the video. And uh, one uh, final thing, if you want to buy any cryptos, feel free to use my Binance link down in the description. Binance is the exchange I personally use. I think it's fantastic, has a lot of coins. Um, and I, I think it's great. So feel free, you'll get 10% of the commission they take as well as giving me 10% of the commission as well. So it's a win-win. Um, just a final disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. I know you've heard this enough times on so many different YouTube channels, but I'm not. Please do your own research. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. We seem to have quite a lot of uh, viewers and subscribers who are investing in BeatPro. So I'm going to start pushing out more and more BeatPro videos. Um, uh, I've released quite a few already. Ch check out my technical analysis. Uh, I haven't changed any of the buy zones or resistances, all these trend lines. And you can see this uh, sort of uh, descending, a uh, narrowing wedge, bull pennant, whatever you want to call it. This uh, This pattern has been respected quite nicely. We can see we find resistance near the top and bottom. Also, this you can sort of look at it as a channel as well. But right now, the current one I'm seeing really clearly, and then when I go into the four hour, you'll see it even clearer, is this, um, you know, narrowing wedge, uh, which is really being respected. And right now, one thing that I'd like to point out on the daily is we're finding support off the 100 day simple moving average, uh, which is just below this bottom trend line, which is acting as a support. Now, I want to highlight the significance of the 100 day simple moving average. Uh, if we just take it a little bit further back down to this area, we can see how the 100 day simple moving average acted as a very strong support before the tremendous leg up we had, where we pumped a ridiculous amount, right? We're currently retesting the 100 day simple moving average right now. Um, from previous data, it looks like it's quite a strong support and it's coinciding with the bottom trend line as well. So it could be a very strong support. One thing I would like to point out is if Bitcoin decides to poop the party again, then it's good. We, we can expect some further downfall because when Bitcoin starts dropping, the altcoins bleed as well and bleed usually a lot more than Bitcoin. Um, but yeah, let's get go into the... Uh, let me turn this uh, indicator off and let's go into the four hour chart to get a little bit more detail. Um, and as you can see, that uh, narrowing wedge I was talking about, how, how beautifully it has respected it. You go, we can see that support, resistance, support, resistance, and support, support, support. And we're currently on it right now. As you can see, breakout point is 27th of April, right? Latest, something has to happen by then, right? Whether it be downwards or upwards. So let's say we do break downwards. I've got my next buy zone between the 0.00039 cent and 0.0055 cent mark. As you can see, this has marked the previous consolidation area where we found a very lot, um, a very significant amount of support before we got, which was re we retested and then up we went for our leg up. So this is the next buy zone that I'm creating. The reason why I haven't really put uh, another buy zone within this area is because there, I mean, we had quite a significant leg up when we went up. So, you know, maybe you can say coinciding with this bottom here, we had around 0 0.0072, another potential buy zone. But for the time being, the really significant support that I can see uh, is this one, um, which coincided with the previous consolidation. Now, obviously, we're currently testing the bottom trend line, which it hasn't really broken. Um, we had a little dip here, which coincided with the first Bitcoin dump on the 18th. Um, and now obviously Bitcoin's dumped again. So maybe it's a good time to buy because we are at the bottom of the trend line. Provided Bitcoin behaves himself, we could start seeing this move up. Especially because just before the Bitcoin dump did happen, we were really testing this upper trend line. We could see we had very positive price action. It looked like it wanted to break out, but obviously we know what happened with Bitcoin. Um, so my first resistance at the moment would be between 0 0.0139 and 0 0.0159. So 
by all means, please check my other videos. I haven't changed any of these resistances to so all the price action that you've been seeing. It's been respecting these resistances and buy zones that I've created. You can see within this region, resistance, it was a support, then resistance, 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 yet again, resistance and resistance. So this would be after we break this particular trend line, this would be somewhere I'd expect some price action. The second resistance is between 0 0.018 and 0 0.02 cent. As you can see, resistance, I mean, a little bit over the top. We broke through and then tried to find support. We couldn't. We found a little bit of support as we went down, but uh, we can see resistance and also a lot of support here. Support, support, hence why this is why uh, I'd expect a quite a lot of resistance within this region as there's been a lot of price action previously. My third resistance, kind of coinciding with this downwards channel, which was a very strong resistance on numerous occasions, is between 0 0.0234 and 0 0.0251 cent. And as you can see, this was a support, resistance, 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 support, 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 and resistance. A lot of price action within this region. Next, I've got between provided we've broken through this line and this line, I've got the 0 0.0294 cent to 0 0.0309 cent mark. As you can see, we had a very strong price rejection, which coincided with the two trend lines. Um, heavy downwards motion after we hit this point. We've hit this point on numerous occasions and we have found a lot of resistance. Uh, it's yet to, be, yet to be retested as a support. So, you know, if we break it, I'd like to see a nice retest as a support before we start moving up. The final resistance that I have, I mean, yes, we can put resistances up here because that is the all time high, but I'd like taking it from the candle close, especially a four hour. Um, and the last uh, resistance I have is the 0 0.0336 cent level to the 0 0.0363. Yeah. So I would expect a lot of resistance because we can see we entered this region nope enter the region again nope <laughs> the wick didn't really reach it but you can see for these two very strong price rejections as soon as we enter this region hence why i'm going to expect quite a substantial amount of resistance when we go we do enter this region again um if we look at the rsi on the four hours it's uh quite nicely corrected it's i mean it hit crazy amounts obviously with this peak and uh, we've been correcting ever since um if we look at the hourly to look on the sh more short term yeah again very nicely corrected um we we are reaching that oversold region and if we look on the daily as well yeah you can see very substantial cre um correction uh very close to that oversold region at 33 um, so we could start seeing a leg up because the last time we hit well, uh, the oversold region was on the 5th of September after which we started moving up. Um, and the thing I'd like to add at the end of this as well is the fact that a lot of people really are, uh, I've seen in the comments, worrying about BPRO. And yeah, obviously, if, uh, say you did, because at the end of the day, people were buying up here. That's why the market cap went up. So people who are buying up here are looking at a 78% correction. Yeah. If we take it from the candle, let's look on the four hour candle close rather than the daily. If we take it from the four hour candle close, you know, that's a, that's still a 71% correction, which is substantial. And uh, if people did invest here, then it's not nice to be 70% down. Uh, if you invested a thousand dollars, you're sitting at around 300 right now. Not, not ideal. But with these micro caps, these sort of this sort of volatility happens. This is why it's super risky. And this is why you've got to be super careful when investing in, especially the lower cap gems. And that's why I always say dollar cost average during dips, never buy into a peak because this can happen. If you look at the project BPRO itself, it's, you know, the fundamentals are very strong. What the, the project is trying to do, what it's trying to achieve. And if you believe in the project, and this is why I, f I say the fundamentals are so important. If you believe in the project, then you should be in it for the long-term hold, right? Like, if you think this project is good, if you, when you invested here, if you thought it was going to do, like, you you would have thought, okay, this, is good, this has got so much potential, hence why you invested up here. Even if it comes down there, you know, this is just a nice dip for you to buy in. That's the way I see it. I see this as a 71% sale. 
right? So I've been buying in these buy zones and now I'm just sitting on the sidelines. I'm just going to, for me, it's a bit of a long-term hold, a longer-term hold. They've got some, uh, you know, the eSports live be um, live betting is meant to come out, I think, next month, I believe. Um, and they've got a lot of news coming out, which could really, really push this price. And this is the thing you need to consider with these small market caps. All it takes is a, a small amount of capital for this to really start shooting up, which is why it's, you know, high risk, high reward, because if that small amount of capital starts moving out, it starts dumping loads. If a small amount of capital comes in, boom, we start um, flying. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give that little reassurance. If you back the project, then these dips will ha just ride them through diamond hands. But yeah, yeah, it's been your boy Fat Crypto. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. If you didn't, dislike it. Let me know why you didn't like the video. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video.